Hello everyone, it's Janet. I wanted to um, put up a video to enter the Wild Orchid Crafts Open Design Team call. So this is my video response to that. I decided to make my sister, who's turning 50, a 50th birthday ensemble. And I went with the crown theme, so I started with a birthday crown. Now, the crown I cut out on my Cricut and I didn't have any cartridges that really had a good crown, so I ended up um, welding a crown from the Little Princess with uh, one from the Gypsy cartridge to get this shape. And I ended up doing a little embossing around the edges with some shabby white embossing enamel from Stampendous. And I, um, the Wild Orchid Crafts flowers are the main event here and they are just gorgeous. I use them in almost every project um, that, that I do. I use their product all the time, so I love their product, so it's very, very easy to do a craft and a video with their product. Um, I used the pink small curly wild roses um, and the assorted and I will put all the numbers down in the description box down below and I also used the cherry blossom flowers I love all those and these are the mixed color open roses this one here and these down here and then these are some of the white crocheted flowers this here and then these are the mixed pink tone hip rosebuds right here. Got them on both sides of the crown. And at the bottom of the crown, all the way around, I layered some of this lace. And I don't know how to say the name, but I did get it from Wild Orchid Crafts. It's this cream lace. And it is gorgeous stuff. I love this stuff. So I put it under here and then I added the organza rose trimming in the lime green which I also got from Wild Orchid Crafts. And I put that all the way around the bottom edge here. So that goes all the way around the edge. And then I just ended up tying it with seam binding so she can adjust it to fit her head. So that will work. Um, I also used a little bit of seam binding underneath here and that kind of helps add all the put all the flowers together. Um, the 50 are Tim Holtz numerals that I also embossed with the shabby white embossing enamel and then we just have a bling up at the top. Um, for the crown I did end up putting together three pieces um, of cardstock to make it um, firm enough to stand well and I put it together with gel medium so that's how I got it to stand up and have a real nice thickness and it's also flexible because of the gel medium so that is the crown so hopefully she will like that and then I also had a box that someone had given me a gift in and this um, I just made into a cake. I don't know if you can see. Um, I wanted the box not to be really super um, smooth because I wanted it to look more like a frosted cake. So I ended up using molding paste around all of it and then I painted it pink. And the pink that I used was a combination of these two colors. The Martha Stewart Pearl in the, um, let's see, what is that color? It's a pink, and then the pet poodle skirt pink in Americana. I added those two together because I wanted, this is the color that I wanted. So usually with the stuff we have lying around, we can make the color. The bird was from Michael's. The little nest was made out of um, tissue paper garland from Melissa Francis. And I just have a spool here that I put the little crocheted flowers around and some of the beautiful lace at the bottom. The 50 were some Tim Holtz grunge numerals that I also embossed. And then 
I used, tried to use the crown theme all the way through, and the paper line that I used for everything is the London Market Pink Paisley collection. Love that collection. For the top here, I used a decorative crown pin, and I just cut off the top to use. These are wonderful pins, and I also used some of these in the crown also. I didn't mention that, but I used some of these in the crown. And the crown in the back I purchased at a um, flea market that we had and then I've just decorated it with a lot of sweetheart blossoms and the wild curly roses and some lace under there. So, And around the edge of the whole box is some other lace that I purchased from Wild Orchid Crafts and it's this beautiful lace here. White lace. Love this stuff. And also the string that's around both the top and the bottom, it also from Wild Orchid Crafts, and it's the off-white pearl string, four millimeters. So, and then just to decorate each piece, I used the baby pink cherry blossom flowers. Actually, these are the yeah the sweetheart sweetheart blossom cherry flowers so I love those and I love how it came out and actually the crown fits perfectly inside this box just have to hold it up so that will be her birthday cake with the crown also forgot to mention on this crown I did put the decorative crown pins here but I also used some of the crystal um, clear crystal drops on silver stem from Wild Orchid Crafts and that gave a really nice element coming out each one of those spots so that's that and then I also did a card for her and I used the paper line which I love and more of the gorgeous flowers I used the pink small curly wild roses the sweetheart blossoms in the pale pink and then also the mixed tone open roses just a charm I think that was a making memories charm and cut out this is also lace from some of that same lace I just cut off the top little strip of that to put it right here and the lace behind is this gorgeous lace Oh, I just love this stuff. I could never have too much of this. So I have that in the back here. And I used a piece of dictionary paper that I cut out with, with 50 that's behind here. So I um, used that also on that. And then continuing with the crown theme, this came with the embellishments from the Pink Paisley London Market. It says Royal Crown, and there's a little crown charm. So continues with my crown theme there. And then also, I ended up decorating a few little packages. Everyone knows how I love to decorate packages. And it, Wild Orchid Crafts makes it really simple because if you just have a little seam binding, a little ribbon, and a few little flowers, you've got a beautiful little package that anybody would love to have as a gift. So this is just wrapped with some seam binding and some open, little small open roses and a little sweetheart blossom. And then that was an earring that I'd gotten from the 99 cent store. Very simple, beautiful though. And here I used that gorgeous, gorgeous lace with some silk ribbon. And I used a pink small curly wild rose there. And also two of the crocheted, white crocheted flowers there. And it just, it just looks so beautiful. The only problem is most people don't like to open them. But they get over it. And this is also from that paper line, just a piece of beautiful ribbon. Also use some of the off-white pearl string, just give it a little dimension, and some of the gorgeous small curly wild roses. Very, very pretty. And then I have one more here. I just put a little doily behind with some ribbon, a little more seam binding, and just one of the small curly wild rose, and it just looks gorgeous. So anyway, if anyone has any questions on how I did anything, I'm more than happy to answer any questions. Um, if you haven't purchased from Wild Orchid Crafts, I truly recommend it. 
Um, all of the orders that I have purchased, I have received within five to seven days. And